guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episode 10 of Bang Dream. It's my goal, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Done. <clears throat> He's still avoiding her. Money. I'm gonna say this, I do love that we're not getting any opening for this because of the fact is, it makes no sense to cut it out. I mean, well, to cut it out, it makes completely sense to cut it out. This is a really gonna be emotional, active episode for all of these girls. So it's like, we can't have anything distracting us. Mm. But you're just scared. We've all been like that. I feel like this episode is really going to make me cry today. Mm hmm
So what you need to do is those feelings that you have right now, Morty. Mm -hmm. You need to get through to the other girls. It's the only way that you five will move on as one. Go on, you got it. Come on. <laughs> Everybody else out there? I don't give her lights. She would continue eating. Oh, there she goes! They're all gonna come in one by one! <laughs>
Oh, baby. Go on, Taki. <laughs> Even though I like just teared up for a moment, I feel like once all five do come together, oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> One of y'all is coming in last. Come, girl, come on! No! But she did, though. And in the end, you all found each other. Oh, you need to talk.
May as well come in. Don't you hate her? Both go go. They both go go. They are both the last two. Oh my No, come on, you're going too! You're playing. So play. The fact that she's still holding her hand.
There you go. Let it out. Oh my god. Give me all a fucking hug. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! I needed that. I needed that today! Oh my god! Huh. That was good. That was everything. Oh my god. It gave me, it like, feels towards the last episode of season one. And how I'll never forget that because I cried my butt off at that. And I feel like now I'm the type of... <laughs> I feel like I've always been like this. I cry more at anime than, like, anything else. Well, except, like, people and things that I really care about. But, like, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. My heart hurts. I'm happy that they're finally... Finally together as a group as one five girls who lost their way and in the end they all found each other and it's just something about that is so beautiful and so freaking sweet and especially for Mori because Mori has had like the hardest time to just convey her feelings and emotions to like anyone really all these girls have except like Rana in my opinion but still Rana you still one of them and I'm like mm, damn but Soyo. Oh my god. I think I might. I really. Like, Soyo might be best girl for me. Even though, like, at first, I was like, mm, I don't know about you. But after this episode, like, I really feel for her and everyone else. But I'm happy that they now. They are together. And that really, truly matters. Like, when, when you have a group finally become one with each other and on one same similar like thought process and everything you're just so freaking happy for them and such and it reminds me also with rosalia and the first time that you know they got together and we first saw that picture of those initial five not knowing that journey that we were going to go on with them plus anyone else especially but really going into rosalia and looking at their past and stuff and seeing, you know, who all had to leave due to, you know, um, health issues and stuff, or looking at, you know, pastel palettes as well, because officially as of today, um, for the English versions, today, I think today's the last event for Aya's Say You in the English version. And so I think it is going to really resonate and hurt with fans um, of pastel palettes a lot today. And I really think we're going to get a lot of people going on Twitter and being very emotional about the fact because even still as of now she has not gotten a voice yet and once again i've talked about this but i feel like there there are seiyus who are who are their character where it's like even though you're hearing all these other voices that they use for these specific characters for I guess say you, I felt like there is no one who can top that. And I felt like that the same thing with her as Ibuki and D4 DJ. And they immediately had to, you know, find somebody else to um replace her. And they did. And so all four of those girls are from, you know, Ravi Starlight and stuff. But for her character Aya, you always initially think of anytime you think of Aya, you think of her Seiyu. And so it does hurt a lot, truly, that she's even though she's still technically a part of the the franchise and stuff, she's gone but never forgotten. But I think it is going to be a little more harder for people to really um what I like to say, quote unquote, warm up to whoever is going to take her place because that's a big freaking role. And it's still even on the 18th of freaking August, we have no idea what the heck they're going to do. So 
it's just about a wait and see. Because I, initially, I think a lot of us thought that her new voice would have came in by now. But I think, you know, possibly it's also they can't really find someone who is that similar to her. When you find someone who is that one of a kind type person, it is truly hard to find someone who is in that similar like mold shape or just trying to mold that person very similar to the other one. But I mean, yeah, I hope they find someone soon. But Jesus Christ, this episode, y you got me again, Bendry. You got me again. No matter if it's season one, season two, or season three, or a spinoff, or it's D4 DJ, which has made me cry or tear up in moments, whether it's the game or the freaking anime, always in my feelings and and I love that and I just once again love that this show is so near and dear to my heart and it, it feels like this is the last episode even though it's not I think we got like what two more weeks before we're done but like I think th this truly is the best episode I would highly recommend someone to immediately watch this I mean I have a friend who is kind of watching this show um it's just with his opinion um, he said it went a little slow and I did agree with him on that, but I was like, when you get to that, like, boom, that, that part, that is, it's just gonna go and you're gonna feel it and such. And so I really recommend for him to continue on to the damn show. I even told him, I was like, keep watching it. I was like, it's going to pay off. And I feel like with this episode and with every other episode that has worked up to this episode, it really has conveyed the feelings and emotions that even season one season two and season three are on par with this and such because i mean everything that the rest of the girls and the other three seasons go through and in the game like really rejuvenates and i honestly cannot wait to see how this show is going to end with the remainder of this episodes but i cannot wait to see these girls just bond even more and it's gonna be so good next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of bang dream it's my goal if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on thursday for episode 11 bye guys